Hello, everyone. My name is Corey Rubello, and I'm a product manager in the Meraki Switching team. And I want to thank you for tuning in to the Meraki Switching Summer 2023 Recap. This is a condensed look back at all the new features and functions that we have brought to the Meraki Switching platform over the last quarter or so. Jumping right in, let's talk about auto stacking. Now, if you're familiar with Meraki Switching, and more specifically familiar with Meraki Switch Stacks, then you're likely familiar with this button here found in the middle to provision this stack button. So historically, you would physically stack the switches using the stack cables, and then you always had to go back into the Meraki dashboard and click provision this stack to complete the process to stack those switches. Now, from feedback, based on feedback from a variety of customers, this was quite unnecessary and quite a pain point for a lot of our larger customers as well. So we've done away with that button completely. So now you'll follow that similar process as far as stacking switches. You'll physically use the cables and stack the switches. And once dashboard detects that you've done so, we will automatically provision that stack. So you will no longer have to go back into the dashboard and click this button. This will significantly save time when it comes to deployment and just overall make things much more efficient. Uh, this feature is going to be made available in early access here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, next up, we're excited to announce that we have several new IPv6 specific features that have been made available from Meraki switches. First up is a security focus feature, so DHCP v6 and RA guard. And then we also have layer three interfaces and static routing available as well. Now, both of these features have been made available already in the early access program, and you can utilize those and try those out today. Just bear in mind that each of those features does have a model specific requirement. Uh, next up, I'm sure you've probably already noticed this, uh, but we made quite a change in the way that we deploy and the way that you consume our firmware when it comes to Meraki switching. So historically, there's always been one firmware for all Meraki switches, and that's MS, right? Sort of one firmware to rule them all. Uh, but what we've done is we've made a change now. So you'll still have the MS firmware that's relative to uh, the majority of Meraki switches, but now we have a new firmware version called CS. Right? And that's going to be specific for the MS390 today. So you'll now have the MS version and the CS version. And overall, it's not a big change for you when it comes to doing a firmware upgrade. If you have a network that has an MS250 and that has an MS390, you'll simply select the respective firmware version for each of those models when you're doing an upgrade. Now, why do we do this? Uh, this increases firmware velocity in general. It allows our teams to be a bit more focused when it comes to the deployment of features, functions, as well as bugs on those specific platforms. Uh, now we wanted to do a quick highlight at a few items that we view as quality of life improvements overall. Let's talk about an enhancement we made to port mirroring. So historically, when you configure a port mirror, you have to select physical interfaces or physical ports, right? What we've done is we've gone ahead and allow you to select an aggregate port to utilize as the source of a port mirror. So that's already done, it's in dashboard today. And there's no firmware requirement, that's just a change that we deployed uh, within the dashboard. So you can do that today. Next up is storm control. So we have now brought the storm, uh, storm control configuration to the MS100 series. Um, historically, that was not available, it was only 200 series and up, but we've now brought that down to the 100 series. And that's been made available starting in MS15. Next up is name VLAN profile. So this has been a feature that has been in beta for quite some time. This allows you to map a name to a VLAN ID, thereby making sort of the, the configuration and consumption of VLANs that much easier in the Meraki dashboard. And what we're doing is we're going to promote the name VLANs profile feature from beta to general available here in the next couple of weeks. Uh, this is preparation for some work that is to follow for name VLAN. So we're gonna deploy several uh, port configuration items where you actually call on the name VLAN versus the, the VLAN ID. And those features will be rolled out in early access. But the overall name VLAN's profile configuration is gonna be GA here pretty soon. Uh, next up, we did make a, an enhancement to our event log consumption. So historically, when you download event logs, you can only download 30 at a time. And this is quite problematic for a lot of our customers who want to download a significant portion of the logs 
you know, to troubleshoot an issue or for visibility. Uh, so we've gone ahead and increased that from 30 to 1,000. So you can now download up to 1,000 locks. And then last but not least, uh, we have overhauled the look and feel of the switch settings page. So if you're opted into the new design system in early access, you can navigate to the switching switch se settings page and you'll be able to get that new look and feel of the page. As always, uh, we wanna get your feedback. Please be sure to join the Meraki community, drop us some feedback, drop us feedback on, uh, did this work? Is this a this condensed version sort of beneficial for you? And just in general, any Meraki switching questions or Meraki questions overall, the Meraki community is the best place for that. I wanna thank you for your time and I hope you all have a great rest of the day. Thank you very much.